Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're gonna to talk about probably what I think on this channel is people's most favorite subject, pots. So this is an age old question uh, that we get in the comments all the time and folks always wanna know. Uh, do you put 250K pots or 500K pots in a guitar? And you probably will jump to the conclusion at this point and say, well, you just put 250K pots with single coils and you put 500K pots with humbuckers. But here's the thing, just because you may think that a, doesn't necessarily mean it's true, and B, doesn't necessarily mean that that's how the guitar manufacturers do it, and do you wanna make changes to your new guitar? So let's talk about a couple of these. So, this is a Gibson uh, SG Junior with a P90 in it. This thing comes, is a single coil, but it comes with a 500K pot, okay? This is a Fender Squire thin line with these wide range humbuckers in it, it comes with 250K pots. This Schecter uh, Machine Gun Kelly signature comes with a 500K pot. This PRS uh, Fiore, the Mark Letary signature, comes with 330K pots. And then this guitar over here, the Kramer, comes with 500K pots. So all of these guitars, none of them actually, well, except for maybe this single coil. So, well, let's just say it. None of these guitars pretty much come with what you would think, except for this pink one. So if we're just putting random stuff in there, what makes you choose? One of the things we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this Fender with the humbuckers in it, and it's got 250K Borns pots in it right now. We're gonna play the before from last week when we did the pickup demo. Remember that it's wide range reconditioning season, so there will be a link to getting your wide ranges redone in your Squire or Mexican Telecaster in the description below. So you can go and do that. But I've also got a set of 500K pots here. We're gonna swap this out so we can hear back to back what it means. And then when we get done with that, we're gonna talk about why or why not this even matters. <laughs> Okay, so we've got it swapped over to 500K pots. Before we hear the sound demo, let's just dive in a little bit uh, to where and why this all works and why you would want to hmm, maybe step out of convention or the normal 250 for single coils, 500K for humbuckers. First of all, we should say that uh, in a passive guitar, every time you add a component, a pot, a cap, um, because, a potentiometer is basically just a variable resistor, even though we use it in two different ways in the guitar. Uh, the, the volume pot is a voltage divider and the tone pot is a variable resistor. Even though they're the same part, they're wired differently to serve two different functions. That's a little bit of a side point so that we don't get that confused. But every time we add a resistor to the guitar, so the, the pots, every time we add a cap, every time we add a component, uh, to a passive guitar, now we're talking passive, not active, but passive guitar, we're taking away from the signal. The full potential of how a guitar could sound is literally a pickup hooked up to an output jack, but that's just not very user friendly. So we need a volume pot and a tone pot to adjust our tone a little bit. Problem is then we add those components, we take away from the potential of what that pickup can do. Here's the deal. We have a 250K pot, we have a 500K pot. Sometimes you have a one meg pot. The higher the resistance of the pot, the more highs come through from the pickup to the output jack. Now, the reason this is, is because the lower the resistance, so 500 versus 250 or 
500 versus 330 versus 250. The lower the resistance, the closer to ground that is. The closer to ground we get, the more highs go away. It's just, it's a relative thing. Now, the way a humbucker works is we've got two single coils that are wired in series with each other, but they're electrically and magnetically out of phase with each other. When that happens, the 60 cycle hum goes away, right? So that's why they're called humbuckers. The problem is, is that it also strips out some of uh, the potential of each of those single coils, the frequency of them. When you have a humbucker, it strips out not only the 60 cycle hum, but quote unquote, a little bit of the tone goes with it. So that means that typically highs are not as present in humbuckers, typically. And that's why if you put a 250K pot that strips out highs also with a humbucker, it can pull those highs out and then you have this kind of muddy sound. However, a lot of times that can be combated with pickup design. You know, Dylan talks tone here, our humbuckers have fantastic clarity to them. You could pretty much put any, any pot combination you want with them, they probably sound good. But that's not always the case. So I personally like to put 500K pots in just about everything, even single coils, because remember that the pickup has a potential and everything you put behind it takes that away. My kind of brain says, well, if I take it away, I can't put it back. If I take it, if they take the highs away, I can't put them back. I want to be able to have that variability. Not everybody agrees with that. Some people do it differently. You take that PRS up there, the uh, Fiore, it's got a humbucker and two single coils. So what they've done at PRS is split the difference with a 330K pot. Personally, I put 500Ks in a single single hum and then I do it differently. We do a different tone circuit for the bridge versus the, the other two pickups, which to me, that works really well. The other thing to know about this is that a 500K pot or versus 250K pot in the volume position is the bigger effect because all the signal goes through the volume pot. So if you change the tone pot, it'll just change how the tone acts a little bit. But when we're talking about stripping highs out of a guitar and, or putting them back in and you want to experiment with this, changing the volume pot because all the signal goes through the volume pot, that's the one that's gonna affect it the most. So, now that we get a little kind of, you know, background on it and why you might want to try it or have a little bit of experimentation with this, you know, pots aren't that expensive, five or six bucks a piece, so you could get your guitar apart and try a 500K pot in your telly in the volume position. You could try a 500k pot in your strat in the volume position and see what you think if you can't dial the highs back or if you're one of those guys that doesn't use your tone knob which you're you should but if you don't use your tone knob and you play everything on 10 you might not want to do this but experimenting a little bit with it and getting out of the norm because like we said we think what we know but then we look at all those guitars up there and they're all kind of a little bit different because there's a design and a fun to doing it. So now let's hear what the 250K pot from last week sounds like. Same pickups, same everything. Everything is exactly the same, switch is even the same. So the first clip you're gonna hear is 250K Borns pots with this guitar, nothing else has changed. Oh, I polished the frets with um, the Lizard Spit kit. Other than that, nothing has changed. Then the second clip is going to be as it is now with the 500k pot. <laughs>
All right, well, not gonna lie, I really like the 500s way better just sitting here and playing to it and listening to those back to back now. I really dig the 500s. Um, I like, it. Does it's not just highs, it changes the center cue. Uh, it's hard to explain that, but I, I think the mids are even better. I think the guitar just sounds bigger. I don't know, I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below going from 500K pots or 250K pots to 500K pots. It's really weird to me, but a lot of these less expensive Fender guitars come with 250K pots with humbuckers. If you want to change it, we have drop-in kits at Dylan Talks Tone that you can buy. Um, if you look here, you can go to dylantalkstone.com, you can uh, click on the telly stuff and then you'll see where we've got these wiring harnesses that are basically just drop in. You can pick your capacitor and you can put 500K pots in there if you want and you can swap it over. Or if you just have a regular telly or a Squire or whatever, you can just replace the wiring with these things. This guitar also has our uh, reworked pickups where you send your wide range pickups in, we rewind them, change all the parts inside, new magnets, the whole deal, and they sound fantastic. We have the video that we talked about that last week. So there's a couple of different possibilities there where you can upgrade your telly. Uh, strats too. Um, we have loaded pick guards for those too. So just so you know that that's all there and uh, yeah, just brighten up your guitar a little bit, make it sound a little bit better and just have more there to play with. If you feel like it's a little too much, just use your tone knob a little. But you can do that now because it's there and you have the room. That's my thing. Anyway, uh, I hope you dug this. Kind of a little fun little back before and after thing. Uh, make sure you check out the videos on the rest of the channel because we do demos. We do this stuff. Uh, we do all kinds of stuff. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And uh, come check out our live stream on Thursdays. Our news on Wednesdays. And... If you become a YouTube member or a Patreon member, you get 10% off anything you order from the website that we make here at Dylan Talks Tone. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.